First, you need a functional pet cock, and if you've never done this before, there's a few things you need to understand. These are filters. They keep the grime and the dirt out of your fuel system. If you take a pet cock out of your bike and you do not have these filters in there, all of the dirt and sludge that's in the bottom of your tank is going to go right into that hole and down into your carburetors. They're going to get clogged up and they're not going to work. And around here it's $500 to get your carburetors rebuilt. You want to move your selector switch to the on position. You have off, on, and reserve. This is your on feed. This feeds from the main part of the tank. This is your reserve feed. So as this sits in the tank, as the fuel level goes down, you'll find yourself running out of fuel. You switch to your reserve, and now you have one, one and a half gallons left before you completely run out of fuel. To begin disassembly, take an appropriately sized Phillips screwdriver and begin slowly removing the screws. You want to make sure that these are all the proper screws. On a used bike, you can end up with screws that are the wrong size, the wrong length, the wrong thread, because even though these are metric, you do have metric, coarse, fine, and extra fine thread. Kawasaki uses a vacuum diaphragm in their petcocks. And there you can see the diaphragm along with another rubber o-ring right there. Because this is in gasoline you can expect there to be of resist when you disassemble it. Be very careful to make sure that you do not damage parts that you cannot replace. This is off of an O5 whereas my EX500 is a 92. They may change things. However, if your petcock is in serviceable condition, you can rebuild it and not have to replace it make absolutely certain that you do not lose this spring. You cannot get replacements. Here you see the rubber seals. You have one 